Hey dip freaks, it's Nancy with You Can Do Nails. Welcome to my channel. Today I am super excited because I got my first order in from CN Designer Dips. I've been eyeing them after seeing all of their over the top glitters lately. I'm pretty glitter obsessed and they have such great photos of their swatches. So the bag is super cute with the metallic pink. They included a packing slip, which helped me remember what I ordered. And their packaging overall is cute and well thought out. They have a square business card, which is unique. And they included a coupon for a future order that looks like a credit card. And there's a freebie of pink glitter stars, which is awesome because pink is my favorite. I definitely look forward to using those. And their dips come zip sealed in this holographic bag, which is super shiny and cute. They even have some holographic sequins in there too. Obviously this company is all about the bling. So for this first order, I ordered Love Blooms, Joker, and Campfire. This is Love Blooms. It's a gorgeous pink and yellowy chunky glitter. And Joker, it's this amazing pink and greenish chunky glitter. I like their jars too. They have the names of the colors on top, which is nice. And then Campfire is this gorgeous dark brown with purple, pink, and blue flakies. So I'm going to swatch these like I always do first. And these are 0.7 ounce jars, by the way. I'm using a cupcake liner because my swatch sticks are long stiletto and won't fit in the jar. And I like to mix things up with a toothpick so that all the glitter pieces and everything are even throughout. And this is a great spring color. I can't wait to use this with a pale yellow. And I'm using my Sparkle & Co. base liquid today. So I didn't buff uh, or file the swatch stick at all. Um, and I'm gonna get a good amount of base on the brush uh, because this swatch stick is so long. And then I'm going to lay it down in the glitter. It is absolutely gorgeous. And I'm using a Ziploc bag to try and get the glitter to lay flat, um, which is really hard because some of the glitter pieces are really big. Um, resist the temptation to use your finger to lay the glitter down because your skin rapidly absorbs the chemicals in the base. But here's a close up and it's just so cute. So up next, I will swatch Campfire. Now don't ask me why I bought a chocolate brown dip uh, during springtime, but it's those flakes that just get me. So I'm, I'm pretty obsessed with glitter and flakes. And these flakes are just floating through the air. Um, when I'm not filming, I like to run my dust collector um, when dealing with the flaky dips to try to pull that out of the air.
and this is stunning. I love the color of the flakes against the rich brown color. It also went on really well for that first dip. And last but not least, I'll swatch the Joker. This is the dip I was looking most forward to getting. I actually pulled over on the side of the road to order this dip when it was restocked. I was on my way hiking and my fiance thought I was crazy. But this is basically the dip that made me uh, pull the trigger and place my first order with CN Designer Dips. Um, I had a serious case of fear of missing out and I just got kind of obsessed with this blue and green together. Wow. The glitters from this company have got to be the biggest glitters I've seen or used so far in a dip. It's almost like a loose glitter uh, than a glitter dip. I'm trying to flatten these out with the Ziploc bag. That bling though. Oh my God, you guys look at this. It definitely needs some more coverage because the glitter pieces just didn't want to stick to the base. Um, but I'm sure the glitter would stick better um, when I'm doing it over my nails that already have a clear dip or some kind of colored dip underneath. So I'm gonna dust off any powder. The Sparkle and Co. base dries pretty fast, um, so they should be good, but I'm using a soft um, eyeshadow brush to um, get off any big pieces of glitter. These are absolutely gorgeous, but super hard to work with as chunky glitters are. I love it. And I've contaminated some bases before, so I'm pretty crazy about getting any stray dip or glitter off, so that's why I also use my stiff brush. Campfire went on pretty well with one dip. I'm just gonna stick with that. If I was doing this on my own nails, I would do at least two dips. I am always making a mess. And the Joker is definitely living up to the hype. Seeing it in real life is just gorgeous. The glitter is so blingy, it's almost like using gems. And I'm definitely gonna encapsulate these in clear, um, at least the chunky glitters. I do like to encapsulate my swatches. Even though I don't file or buff my swatches too much, I wanna make sure that they're smooth-ish for when I go in to wipe with the lint-free wipe. I definitely need a little bit more coverage on the Joker, but I don't feel like doing another coat or hand placing, so I'm just gonna go with one coat. Today I'm using the Kiara Sky uh, Clear Dip. And I'm gonna pour this over, even though my clear dip is two ounces, 
about halfway through it so my swatch stick won't fit in the jar. These glitters would be beautiful encapsulated in gel too. And if you wanted to get these glitters really smooth, you could go in with two coats of clear. And I skipped campfire. Thought I could get away with it, but you'll see what happens with me not using the clear. So I'm going in with my Kiara Sky Activator. And I tend to go pretty heavy on the activator. And I'm wiping off any excess specks of clear just to make sure that the clear layer doesn't become cloudy. So I just went in with my second round of activator on campfire. Then I'll activate the glitter ones. The glitter ones did take some extra time to dry due to all the big pieces of glitter. And now I'm gonna wipe with a lint-free wipe. And since I skipped the clear on campfire, I now have all these pieces of lint, even from my lint-free wipe. I thought I was gonna be able to get away with not using the clear, but note to self, always encapsulate in clear, even on your swatches. And now I'm gonna go in with my Kiara Sky Dip Top Coat, um, which can be really tricky to use. Try to work quickly so that my brush doesn't get hard and I also wipe it on a clean piece of paper towel. And I'm working under a ring light so I can see exactly what places I've missed with the top coat. I am just gawking over Joker still. It is so gorgeous. And it was limited edition too. You guys, the CN Designer Dips definitely did not disappoint. Um, you'll need some patience when dealing with the super chunky glitters, but I just absolutely love them. The color combos, everything. So I'll definitely be ordering more of their dips in the future. Have you guys used CN Designer Dips yet? Comment below and let me know. And thanks for watching.